guys, Brian from Progressive Force Concepts here, uh, joined by our instructors, uh, Doug and James, and we've got a real pleasure today. We're also joined by uh, former DHS agent and competitive shooter, J.J. Ricasa. Thanks so much for taking a little bit out of your uh, your busy schedule to come out and train with us. Thanks for uh, The name of the game and what we're working on today is, uh, is distance. Uh, and if you've ever trained on a military or a law enforcement or even civilian ranges, the common distances that we encounter are the three yard line, the five yard line, the seven, the 10, the 15, and then ultimately the 25. Uh, and if you look at those, it's a pretty significant jump when we go from 15 all the way back to 25, and that tends to scare people, intimidate them, and obviously then their performance takes and it diminishes. So, uh, so we've got a drill that we've devised uh, called the elephant drill. We're going to take and we're going to work that today, and to kind of bring things or dumb them down to our level, we've handicapped uh, <laughs> We've handicapped Mr. Ricasa with one of our proprietary off-body carry systems, the Bob Bag. So he got a little bit of instruction from Doug a while ago. Hopefully Doug uh, set him up for success, and we'll see how he does performing with that. Before we get into the meat of the drill, uh, Mr. Ricasa, anything uh, as far as you know, your personal experiences with working with distances, uh, weaknesses, strengths, any strategies for taking and training that and turning that weakness into a strength? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we discussed it earlier, right, from our earlier conversation that when I teach, I separate the movement from the shooting. And you, you absolutely said it. A lot of people, when they hit distance, everyone slows down. Like, the draw is going to affect their accuracy. Absolutely, absolutely not. What you do in the last 1% or 2% with the sights and the trigger is what's going to dictate what the sights is. But no matter how fast you get it out there, it doesn't matter, right? Exactly. And like you said, introduce it incrementally into a small distance, incre increasingly slowly. It was not going to affect. And it's like, a, it's like moving mountains for them. Because they're they're getting confident as they're getting back and they're getting further and further back. So that's absolutely like you said, introduce it incrementally. Incrementally, that's that's how it's done. So as uh, as he just said right there, the way we're going to take and we're going to run this, you can see we've got steel targets behind us. We're going to start at the seven safe steel target engagement distance. We're going to come out, and fire one good, clean, well aimed shot, and then we're going to trick the mind into thinking that there was no change whatsoever. The shooter's going to back up six inches to a foot, and then they're gonna fire another aimed shot. And we're gonna do that as far back as the range limits it to go. Uh, the distance between 22 yards and 22 yards and six inches is nothing. Nothing changes the way we manage the sights, the way we manage the trigger, the way we present the gun. Nothing changes whatsoever. It all remains the same. And this is a real confidence builder for the shooter instead of that significant 10 yard and 30 foot jump from 15 all the way back to 25. JJ, again, thanks so much for uh, taking the time and coming out and shooting this with us today. We think you guys will like this drill a lot. Stay safe.